welcome back to Frenchie's Bakery. Today we are going to be making some dog biscuits with the girls. <laughs> Piglet already laid down. <laughs> she is over it. She is already over it. I just pressed record. Okay, well, I'm going to let her lay down because this is actually her afternoon nap time. It looks like I thought Odie was going to try and lay down, but it looks like she's going to try and jump. That's not good. Okay, so we're off to a great start already. The girls are being difficult. So today we are going to be making doggy biscuits for Boomer and Mia, my niece and nephew, their cousins. Um, Mike and I are going on a little trip and Bobby and Tressa are going to be watching our puppies and uh, Boomer and Mia are also going to be, you know, babysitting their little cousins. So I figured we could have some nice biscuits waiting for them and then I'm going to have some chocolate chip cookies waiting for the humans. So these are going to be really, really tasty, I think. Like honestly, they sound amazing, especially because there's a peanut butter drizzle on them. I love peanut butter so much. So do all of the dogs. So we're gonna be making peanut butter treats today. So this is going to be very, very simple. There's barely any ingredients. It's very, very easy. So oatmeal, do you know what this means? You get to taste test stuff. So the first thing we're going to need is a cup of peanut butter. And mine is actually chunky peanut butter, which I think is like, gonna be really fun <laughs> um, and it's the only natural peanut butter I had in the house so it's very you know it's natural low sodium much healthier than the regular peanut butter um, but it's chunky and I think honestly that's gonna be totally okay so I'm gonna scoop out a cup of that you like to lick the spoon she's like oh my gosh what is this like what 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 there's bright lights there's this camera thing pointing at me, but I get to eat, I'm down. As long as Oatmeal gets to eat, she's game. Is that tasty? Oh, these girls love peanut butter, just like me. I love it so much. I could eat that whole jar. Then we're gonna add in two eggs. I kinda wanna see Oatmeal's reaction with this. What's that? And I'm gonna add in two and a half cups of whole wheat flour. What's that smell like? Icky. Pig's laying down again. I'm sorry guys, she's like not even gonna be a part of this video and I'm not forcing her to be either. <laughs> and then three fourths cup of water. So the easiest way is to mix this in a mixer, but I figured so I could like be with the girls and everything, I'll just mix it by hand. So I'm just gonna throw on a glove because even mixing it by a spoon is gonna be difficult. So I'm gonna just do it by hand really really simple this is it this is the dough just want to mix it up my gloves falling off um, and like I said barely any ingredients so very simple I love dog treats they're so easy to make and the dogs really really love them so it's really fun to do as a treat I love making dog biscuits around the holidays to give to all my family members dogs and you know treat them because they deserve the world because they make everything better so mine's actually a little runny still so I'm just gonna add in a little bit more whole wheat flour. I didn't level off my cups because I kind of thought two and a half was going to be too much, but it was perfect. So just add in a little bit more until I get a dough consistency. This looks perfect. Now we're going to flour our surface because we're going to roll out our dough. So I'm going to use my whole wheat flour and just spread that out a little bit. Oatmeal's licking our chops. I'm just going to plop the dough just right on top of the flour. And then I always like to top mine with a little bit of flour too because it's going to be very, very sticky. And we're just going to roll it out. Your sister is very sleepy. I should not film around her afternoon nap time. That is clearly a very bad idea. <laughs> she is just such a napster. That's the best word I have for her. She is just such a napster. I mean, all she does is sleep, sleep, sleep. Now she can get crazy. Piglet loves a good zoom around the house and a good hardcore play session. She definitely knows how to play hardcore, but she also knows how to sleep hardcore. I think Savannah taught her that. Simi was the expert sleeper of the house and I think she taught Piggy a little bit on how to just sleep all the time. I have a little doggy bone cookie cutter here. You can obviously use whatever cookie cutter you want I sometimes would do like Christmas trees and stuff with the dog biscuits for Christmas time, hearts for Valentine's Day. You can get really creative with 
the treats being really cute, especially if you are giving them away as like presents or taking them to a doggy birthday party or whatever, um, because the humans will be like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. So you can make them look really cute and then taste really good for the doggies. All right, now I have my cookie sheet here. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees and I'm just going to line the tray with our biscuits here. Is that tempting? It's right in front of your face. Pig is so good. Like even if there is steak sitting in front of her, which is her all time favorite, and she's like in the living room or whatever and there's steak on the table and Mike gets up to come grab something or whatever, um, she will not eat it. She'll just sit there and look at it. And she's just phenomenal with that. And even oatmeal, I don't think I would leave the room just in case, like if there was food there, um, cause she is a puppy. But if I'm sitting there and there's like food sitting right next to me and she's sitting there, she'll just like stare at it like, I want that so bad, but she will not go after it. And that is really, really so impressive of them. So I am going to bake these for about 18 minutes. I'm gonna roll out the rest of this dough and um, make some more biscuits. And then you also can freeze this up to three months. I like to put mine in a Ziploc baggie and then the day of if, or whatever, the day before you can let it sit out, get to room temperature and then just bake these off. It's really awesome because there's plenty of dough to make plenty of biscuits, but then also save it. So that's always the best. So before we work on the drizzle, I wanna show you guys, I left just a little bit of dough left over so I can always have biscuits to bake off whenever. And um, I just put it in a Ziploc baggie like this. I like to flatten it out so it freezes evenly, so it thaws evenly, all that good stuff. And then I take a Sharpie and I write the temperature of the oven, so 350 degrees, 18 minutes to bake. And then I like to put dog treats on it as a title so I know what this is. And then I pop it in the freezer and like I said, it's good for up to three months. So now we're going to work on our drizzle. So I have a microwave safe bowl here and I have a fourth a cup of peanut butter and one and a half tablespoons of coconut oil. Do you wanna see if you like coconut oil? I don't know if we've ever tried this. Do you like that? Hmm, we're not too sure. We kind of do, kind of don't. Ooh, we don't, maybe. Normally whenever she does that with her tongue, she doesn't like something, but she keeps eating it, so that's weird. What about you, Oatmeal? I feel like you're gonna love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, ooh, she's doing the same thing with her tongue. Is that interesting? Is it a little funky, maybe? Okay, so we're gonna throw this into the microwave for 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna mix it up and get it all nice and melted, and then I'm gonna add it into a Ziploc baggie to drizzle over our cookies. I feel like this is the most Piglet has been awake and alert this whole video, as she yawns. But like, she is eyeing this up. I think you maybe did like your coconut oil. Well, it's very good for you, so I hope you like it. So I'm just gonna pour this in this baggie here. I just snipped the corner off of the bag. Sorry, it's dripping everywhere. <laughs> and I'm just going to take this and drizzle it back and forth over the biscuits. Then I'm going to pop these in the fridge, let them stiffen up, and they're gonna be good to go. So let me go put these in the fridge, they can stiffen up, and then we will do a taste test with the girls. All right, you guys, just like that, our little biscuits are done. What are you barking at? Oh, you want a biscuit. <laughs> These are so adorable. They turned out awesome. I love the drizzle on the top. So I'm going to break it apart. You girls, these are gonna be amazing. I'll give you each a little treat for being so good. All right, let me know, is it good? I would say it's a winner, especially because Piglet's a little picky. Is that good? I keep looking in the camera and like she's so low because she's so short. But like you guys can barely see her. Is that good? You girls like this recipe? I would say that these are a hit. The girls love them. So you should definitely take some time to make your puppies these treats. They're so easy. It took barely any time at all. It was so much fun making them and you can even make them with your doggies. I love making stuff for the girls with them. I think it's a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good rest of your day, everyone. Bye. Say bye, girls.